Weaving uh, is a, a process that was automated last among all of the uh, uh, textile machinery development. Uh, the, a man named, an Englishman named Cartwright, uh, first invented uh, the process of mechanical weaving in uh, the 17, late 1780s. And it didn't work very well, and so people worked on his design for the next 10, 20 years before it came to the point where it was workable. So uh, this mechanical loom, this is called a Draper, uh, Draper Company from Hopedale, Mass, uh, invented this particular kind of loom in 1718, sorry, 1892. And it was a revolution in the uh, mechanical weaving uh, process because up until then, a weaver could only tend as many as four looms at a time. That's because weaving is a process of, of knocking a shuttle, this is a shuttle, knocking the shuttle back and forth across the loom to uh, weave. On the back, this is called the warp beam, and you see there's yarn on it that goes through the loom from the warp beam to the front, and then the weaving takes place right here. This is called the shuttle race, and the shuttle's knocked back and forth across here by this wooden stick called the picker, picker stick. So every time the shuttle is knocked that way, that's a pick. There's a uh, picker stick on the other side that knocks it back that way, that's a pick. So when you hear a weaver talking about how many picks a minute the loom is running, that's one, two, one, two. So uh, this loom, when it was first designed, could run about 80 picks a minute. Uh, gradually that was, that was increased to around 120 picks a minute. That was called the speed up that happened in the, uh, after World War I. But the important thing about Draper looms was this device here called the battery, the bobbin battery. So it works like a uh, like a revolver and a pistol. <clears throat> this is a shuttle, uh, and well, this this is a shuttle, and this is the bobbin that goes in the shuttle like that when it's full of yarn. You know, got to got to put yarn on it. So it's here, and this is what goes back and forth to weave the, the warp and the weft, the warp and the weft, to cross each other, and that's what weaves, that's what weaving is. So before the Draper battery, the, when the bobbin ran out of yarn, the weaver had to stop the loom with the handle and take the bobbin out, put a new bobbin in, and start the loom again. So that's why a good weaver could only weave about four looms at a time. When the Draper Company did this, the battery has two dozen bobbins in it. And when there's a little finger down in here, right here, that is always testing the yarn on the bobbin to see if it touches wood. And when it touches wood, it knows that the bobbin is empty and it stops over here. There's like a little hammer that comes and knocks the empty shuttle out and another hammer that puts a new sh shuttle in, a bobbin in that has more yarn in it. And so that mechanization of, of the process meant that a weaver could look after more than four looms. First they started at eight looms and then they went to 16. Ultimately, in the 1930s, a weaver was weaving 32 or 64 looms looking after them because the process was becoming so automated. So that's why these Draper E-model looms were revolutionary. Uh, the Draper company named its looms just like Henry Ford named its cars with A-model cars and and uh, this was an E-model loom. So those looms that I showed you 
that had a, a tree growing through them. That's exactly the same loom as this. In fact, they came out of the same weave room here in Franklinville. This one we restored in 1994 for the opening of the uh, North Carolina Museum of History and we took it to Raleigh and it ran uh, as a demonstration of weaving. And at that time the fixers and the people with a lot of knowledge in Franklinville were still alive and, and helped me restore it. So uh, this, this loom and the two at the North Carolina Museum of History textile display right now and those 12 that look so bad all came out of the same weave room and this is an example of how you can restore one to work and look a lot better than the ones outside.